chicken. To start with, we need to gather our herbs. I'm gonna use rosemary and thyme for my garden. I'm gonna make a compound butter with salt, pepper, garlic, and paprika. Next, I'm gonna prepare the chicken. Make sure it's completely dethawed and near room temperature. And then I'm gonna peel back the skin with my finger, but not detaching it all the way, getting as much away from the skin without poking any holes as possible. Then I'm gonna take that compound butter and I'm gonna spread it throughout between the skin and the meat, as well as in the cavity of the chicken. This will make it basically be self-basting throughout the rotisserie process. Once this is done, get it hooked onto your rotisserie set with drip pan so the butter doesn't flare as it melts. Turn it on to high heat on all burners for about five minutes to start getting things crisp, and then turn everything off except the side two burners on a low medium heat, and then cover. Use your meter thermometer or other thermometer, putting it in the thickest part of the breast up until it reaches a temperature of 165 and then rest it for about 10 minutes. Look how juicy golden brown it is. When you cut into this brush, you can see it is juicy, it is moist. The skin is a beautiful golden brown. Look at that. You can taste the herbs, butter, and spices with every bite in this beautifully smoky chicken. Okay, for the second rotisserie chicken, I'm going to use a locally sourced roaster, and I'm going to make a brine out of onions, garlic, cumin, paprika, ground black pepper, oregano, and of course, salt. I'm going to mix that in with a lovely buttermilk. Mixing well, completely incorporating all of the spices, and I'm going to double bag the chicken in Ziploc bags and put it in the freezer for at least 24 and up to 48 hours. With this, I'm going to make a lovely grilled corn. To do this, you want to open the husks, but not remove them, and remove all the silk. This will just burn and give it an acrid flavor. Once you have all the silk off, place the husks back over the corn, put this in a large pot, and soak them for 30 minutes in water. Once it's been brined, remove as much of the brine as possible, and then attach it to your rotisserie set. Once attached, we're going to use a yellow mustard as a binding agent, covering completely. And then we're going to cover it in a spice rub. The spice rub contains chili powder, paprika, cumin, ginger, onion powder, garlic powder, rosemary, thyme, ground black pepper, and just a little bit of salt. Then get it on your rotisserie set, off direct heat, indirect medium heat, this will take about an hour, but I highly recommend using your meter thermometer or other thermometer to make sure you're getting the thickest part of the breast up to 165. When you're about 15 minutes from done, throw on your corn, allow those to roast, rotating every few minutes. The outer husks may burn a little bit, but the internal corn, because you soaked it, will be this steamed, smoky, beautiful thing. Look at that golden brown, covered in those spices. Look at the juices. Let it rest for about 10 minutes and then cut. This will be the best chicken you've ever had, accompanied by an amazing piece of sweet corn. Mm -hmm.